and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. I lived all my years in that ancient Wow. <laughs> Patent by decadence and luxury. And yet I began to tire of conventional extravagance. Singular unsettling tales suggested the mansion itself was a gateway to some fabulous and unnameable power. <laughs> With He's like um ritual, I bent every effort. He's a uh, Brian the from Nocturne. of those long buried secrets. Hi, Kozu. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today, and I hope you have a beautiful day. Sturdy shovels. Bravely dug away. <laughs> At last, in the salt so I wonder what it's gonna be like when I die. Foundations. Will funerals Mary, still exist? Damnable portal of antediluvian evil. I think about that sometimes because I don't want kids. Like, does anybody go to your funeral or give a fuck if you die if you don't have Our kids? Step the ancient I don't know. Earth. We Look at my die alone. Of death and madness. Or death and madness, like he said. Oh, and cutie patootie. I alone fled laughing and wailing through those <gasps> Rune, did I forget your tunes? What did you give me? Until consciousness failed me. You Will funerals still exist in a month? I had a friend who literally went to a Skype wedding. Which honestly, I would way prefer. I don't want to get dressed up to watch two people sacrifice their lives to each other. Rune, I'm the worst. <gasps> Rune, do you have a favorite Rune? That's an amazing question. I've never asked that. Uh, wet ass pussy. That's the name of our game. Welcome to it. You finished your one fifth scale Sidewinder missile. Oh my god, how did you? Was it like a, like a kid? Yeah, Skype wedding's the best. You don't have to wear pants. In time, I think funerals are lame. I'd rather just throw a party. Like, if I die, I'd rather people have a huge party and get super faded. Like, take a bunch of MDMA and just, like, feel good all night. I don't want people to sit around and cry about me. Um, Things are still free. Wait, didn't I put people in here to get fixed? I did. I did put people in there to get fixed for free. Portion. Uh, Hail Satan. I'm going to go for a cremation and then have my ashes made into a glass orb for my phylactery because I'm going to become a lich when I die. What if I'm already a lich? What if I'm like already, uh, you know, I have the skills to bring people back from the dead? What if that's a thing? Okay. Who do we have to off? Oh, Holliver, I think I have to off you. You're so fucking crazy. I'm going to make you a new person, though. Oliver, I love you. It's happening. Send so my boyfriend's classes are starting soon. They're hybrid, so we have some classes online oh, and then some in person. Can he refuse to go to in-person classes? Like, I've wondered about that. Can kids literally refuse and be like, no, I don't want to die? Because I heard there was some college I saw this morning that's already had like 500 cases break out. I attend Twitch streamed funerals. Holy shit. That happens? Oh, dude, Death Weasel. That's the most metal way to go ever. All right, I'm gonna make this one Oliver. Actually, I'll wait till Oliver's here. She can pick her own. Um, Who's here? Who wants to be a Vestal? They s oh, what the fuck is that? Dachnomania? Obsessed with killing? Perfect, no, I love her. Who's obsessed with killing and wants to heal? I have a lot of people already in the game, so. If you're already in my game, obviously I'm gonna tell you to fuck off. Yes, okay, Charming, I got you. You broke your headphones? No! Oh, Poker Dot, I got you on the next one. Don't worry. I have four people to bring in. Thank you for saying you want to be one, though, so I don't have to stay here and wait. A Poker Dot. Battle. Poker Pious Dot. And unrelenting. Can I fucking make you this guy? It's my very first Houndmaster, and I love the Houndmaster. Occultist? If I find if I have an occultist, I would definitely make you an occultist, Murgle. Murgle. Uh. I know, LZT. I'm waiting to get... Wait, did I get one? I think I got one. I did. This is you, because I had to kill your other character. Well, I didn't kill him. I, you know, dismissed him because he got way too fucked up. But now I have a new one. Germaphobe? Really? I'll get rid of that. Don't worry. Now I have you back. 
that's an obvious one. Laboratory than the blood soaked Is there a character that's on the edge of insanity? Those are the flat, uh, not flagellants. There's there. Wait, I have two legumes now. Oh, here you go. This one, Eltar. I'll make you this guy. Literally, these guys go insane. It's amazing. Fuzzy, welcome. I think I made LZT this guy, so I remembered to put him back because I remember I had to get rid of your character and you weren't here. So I was like, oh, I have to remember to make him a poison doctor. So I made you that guy. But Heltar, that guy goes insane. He's awesome. But they're also a good tank. Um, abominations are really fun. Oh, okay. Sorry, Charming. Now you have the now you have the possibility of dying in my game. So you treated him like the VA does soldiers with PTSD. Treated who? Oh, yes, I did. Wow, that's really harsh, but true. This is fine. You might die, but it's fun. It'll be fine. Yes, Mateo, you can be this one. Mateo, do you like dogs? So it's like March all over again. Oh, great. Great. Grave robber, deal, Reese. Oops, hero name, I already did it. All right, that's Mateo. Do you have cats? No, it's just a dog person. He like uses his dog. Like the dog does all the damage and shit. I know. I feel bad for the abominations because they really are just like sad, crying special boys that got thrown into m murder. I can make you someone else, Mateo, if you don't like dogs. I can make this one Kozu. This is a dog person. Like he is the dog man. You love animals? Cool. I'm keeping it. You actually look at this. I actually got a cool charm for him. This is my very first dog person. It's 20% scouting chance and 20% disarm chance for Houndmaster only. Ooh. Really? I've never played a healer in D&D or anything, um, but this D&D group that I'm doing with my friends offline, I made a fighter for the first time in my life. I'm real excited to fight something. It's probably gonna go terribly because I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm excited for it regardless. Um, okay, we got, okay, and then Reese is gonna be this bitch. I love grave robbers, they're so dope. Battle and bloodshed. Um, I think, did I kill you, Reese? I think I did. I, did, I had, well, I dismissed her yesterday. I didn't remake you, did I? Sometimes I remake people just to remind myself. Poor Punky, what's wrong with you right now? Why do you have a red thing? What's that mean? Are you in death's door or something still? What's wrong with you? Do I need to fuck you up or something? Oh shit. Uh, You're not that fucked up. I'm not gonna get rid of you. I'm full. Who do I not like? I don't, I really need to use this. I still haven't used a bounty hunter. Does anybody have any suggestions on how to use a bounty hunter? I would love those suggestions. Oh, love you taking them off. Love you. Drive safely, please. Apply pickaxe to their forehead, robber. Yes, I know it's so amazing. I love it. Yeah, that I remember that. You went super insane. Um, I need to learn how to use this guy because I want to use the bounty hunter. So that's my first of him. I have three hellions. I really like hellions though. I've got a couple grave robbers, but I really like grave robbers. I really like everybody. I'm tempted just to drop the antiquarian or this. Uh, he's actually really good. Fuck me, I hate getting rid of people, but I really want that grave robber. I love grave robbing. Are you crazy? No. Are you crazy? No. Are you crazy? No. Are you? No. Are you? No, you're brand new. Of course you're not crazy. Are you crazy? No. Are you? Oh, Viata. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna ax you and get rid of somebody else or make you somebody else eventually. You crazy. Soul I'll bring you back. Broken. Don't worry. We'll Cast make you someone better that's like not expensive to torch. heal. Can I can he I think he can't. I think I already tried this. Fuck you. God damn that fucking loser face. Have I tried fall guys? No. Why would I kick you out? Absolutely not. I kick people out that are crazy. That's why I'm kicking them out. If you're too expensive to heal, like it's not even worth it for me, I kick you out. That's the only reason I kick people out, not because of anything else. Or if I just don't like the class. 
there are a couple, pe couple people where I just straight up do not like the class. And that is just something I have to deal with. Cool. So, these are my unstressed bitches. Psycho, you can upgrade some stuff. Because I want to take you on my adventure. Fran. Not yet. You're level one. Pucky, I'm not going to... Wait. Who well, let's look at our team first. Let's look at our team, everybody. Nice estate title. You like that? The wet ass pussy? Thank you. Thank you. Bounty Hunter has Mark and offensive moves that stack damage on Mark targets. Mmm. Thank you, Alethea. Alethea streams this game as well, and she has like over 500 hours in it. So if you're looking for someone to teach you how to play the game, she's better. <laughs> What's that? Profane Scroll. Rare. Ooh. Plus 15% stress. I don't want to stress her out anymore. That seems like a terrible idea. Um, gather three holy relics. Houndmaster only. Or... Plus 30 bleed resist. Do I have to do the, like, this is, this is just general advice I'm asking for, for people out there that play this game. Is it better to finish the runes and then move on? Or should I do these ones and like start these like other ones? Or should I do this until I'm like done? I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. <laughs> Does that make me crazy? <clears throat> you can do other ones? It doesn't like there's no problem. Sick. Who has the best thing? That's lame. Ooh, plus five stress. Why would I do that? That seems so stupid. Jester, that'd be pretty dope. Let's do the wield. Let's try the wield today, my dudes. Is this Heltar? No. We're going to bring... Let's think about this. So, we have a new healer. I'm definitely going to bring my new healer. Where the fuck did you go, you little loser face? Where are you, you little... Seriously, though. Am I skipping? Yep. Really? Charming's coming with us. Little Charming, who's obsessed with killing and also deadly. Wow, what a combination. Kind of excited to see you go to work. You can heal. You do not have heal the party, though, which is a little shitty. And, oh, you have the best camping skill ever! Actually, because you have the best camping skill ever, I might do one of these medium ones. Just because you have the best camping skill ever! Let's do this one. Okay. <gasps> Millie! Oh, my God. The voice of Baldur's Gate? What? Holy shit. Oh, my God. There's a celebrity in the chat, everybody! Holy shit! Millie. I am so fucking excited that I can actually talk about this now. Not that I knew anything. I don't know how the fuck you held all this in. Jesus Christ, girl. I'm so fucking excited for you and proud of you. If only you could spend that money to come fucking see me! Guys, please follow my girl, Amelia Tyler. She is an amazing streamer and also a voice actress who is narrating the new Baldur's Gate. Yeah, what the fuck? What a huge fucking accomplishment, dude. <coughs> She's amazing. And also, I'm in love with her. Legume! Let's bring Legume and get him out there. And we're going to bring Psycho because we just healed him. Or we just leveled Psycho all up. So let's bring Psycho. Where is he? Where are you at, Psycho? There you are. Psycho likes to be in the third. Where do you like to be? In the third. Well, hmm. And these guys are, is this like a tanky though? Would you say, Alethea? I miss you so much. I actually get really depressed about it if I think about it too much. So I'm just pretending it's not happening. This year can just fucking get bin for real. For real though. Like, I just want to come see you so bad and hug you and sit in the sunroom with you and get high. But you know what? That's life, right? That's life! Mm, sort of tanky. Hmm. Maybe I won't bring Psycho this time. Maybe I'll bring Nesta and... Mm, have we brought Vissy out yet? I don't even think we've taken Vissy's new persona out. We should. Hell yeah, Vissy, be my bitch. Let's do this. 
I mean, don't be my bitch, but you know what I mean. Be an independent woman, but also awesome. Um, Brandy Buck, how are you doing? All right, I think this is a better lineup then. Let's look through our shit. Blight amulet plus blunny, 20 plus blunny. You're a blight bitch. Have some blight. Who have you killed so far? I've only lost one person. Who was it? They died yesterday. It was, it was my grave robber. Was it a, Alethea? No. It was my grave robber yesterday on the second boss. It sucked. You be my bitch by, okay. As long as it's my choice. Consensual bitching only. Does that make me crazy? Does that make me crazy? Does that make me crazy? For me. All right. <clears throat> Next. Healer. Oof. Yes. She gets stressed so fast. That fucking Vestal every time. If there was an election in the year 2020, who would win? Nobody wins. Snore! Cheers! I'm here to kill and die for you. I appreciate you. Um, you'll probably live. We'll see. Cheers. Gone is today! <coughs> and I'm excited. <clears throat> Excuse me. What's a fanatic? I don't know what that pagan talisman is. I don't know what fanatic is. What else do we got? I want to make her super unstressy. Scouting chance, bleed skill, blight chance, protect, dodge. I'm going to give her a protect. 5%. Yeah, have some protect on you, Jesus, you weak piece of shit. Okay. Um, we got you. Let's see. King Nesta. Cheers, Kodiak. <laughs> Vissy, you have to show us your butt in them if you're comfortable with it. Because I swear to God, they're so fucking comfortable. <coughs> Play Oblivion, dude. Oblivion's so good. That's one of my favorite games ever. Um, Stop smoking yourself, bull. Stop. You on Gone, Chris Mack, you're amazing. Thank you. I actually feel really inadequate on Gone because there's so many good RPers on there. I feel like I'm like not good, but that's okay. I'm okay with it. How much dodge do you have? Five? How about take, what the, f it's just smoking itself. Stop. When Gone is over, we call it went. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I swear, those leggings made my ass look so good. So good. Smoke more? I know. It's. I mean, it's a huge bowl. Like, if I smoke this whole bowl, it's, it's like a half gram in there, man. I want to let it stretch out a little bit. Seriously, weed is cheap here, but it's not that cheap. What is your... Do I have anybody that's good at tra trapping? Oh, you're the best. Cool. You guess what you get? That one. Minus some speed. I don't give a fuck. All right, Vissy. I don't want you stressed. Mm. Hellion only. Oh my god, I forgot. I got Hellion only things. Aw, oh, Chalax. I'm sorry, honey. I came from the East Coast. It was a terrible time. Terrible time. Getting weed illegally is just... It's a nightmare. Look at how bloody she's gonna be. Gross. I'm excited. Mmm... Okay. 
I kind of... She'll be fine. I'm nervous. It's fine. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. I can only eat the plant like a cow. Oh my god, we were talking about cows earlier, Brandy Buck, and how fucking cute they are. Oh, what? This is a long one? Oh shit. Okay, cool. What a awesome. It's a long I've never done anything but a medium camping trip, so this should be exciting. Did I pick the right one? Hold up. No, it was gonna send me into the farmstead again. I hate how it autos to the farmstead. That is so annoying. Oh, no, it is a double one. Just kidding. It did not auto to the farmist farmstead. Awesome. Challenging my inner Emma. Dude, did you see that Futter drew Emma yesterday? Futter drew... Well, she drew it a couple days ago, but she drew the scene where Emma Emma's awakening. That's all I'm going to say. No spoilers for people who haven't seen the show. She drew Emma's awakening, and it looks incredible. She's so fucking talented. She disgusts me. I'm not going to be able to pick up any loot. Oh, <laughs> Mateo, this morning, it's new sub icons. Do you remember the good old days of waiting 10 hours for your friend to stop by to drop off an eighth of the finest brickweed? It was, it was worse for me. It was like, because I grew up in the middle of nowhere, so no one was driving my house at all. It was me accepting that I'm going to have to drive an hour and a half into the woods to some old man's shack where he grows his own fucking sick hash. He's probably going to make a perverted comment about me. I'm going to try to bring a friend, even though he tells me not to bring anything to his house because he's probably going to rape me. That's how I got drugs back in the day. It was not a good situation. <laughs> mm hmm It was just stems and leaves. They wouldn't give you the seeds. Fuck that. They keep the seeds for themselves. Bastards. All right, let's do it. Mmm. Mmm. The 90s. Oh, man. It was a dark time. I mean, if I... I mean, I shouldn't be alive. The amount of very creepy adult men homes I went into alone to purchase drugs as a young woman was unacceptable. I was way too brave. I wasn't taught to be afraid of anybody, which probably gave me my courage I have now. But also, it made me very reckless as a child. Like, I just thought I was invincible. Like, come at me, I'll fucking deck you. Who doesn't want to try a handy for some ditch weed? I mean, not me. I love handies for ditch weed. Oh, you're allergic to everything from a cow. Wow, that's really sad. Oh, yeah. Ours was the res, too. I lived on a reservation, so it was always a reservation. Courage is being afraid but still doing it. I wasn't afraid. I just did it. So maybe I was just dumb or These reckless. The halls of your lineage once familiar. Scout, now, bitch! Hell or... yeah. Ooh, nightmares. Ooh, this is a long one. I've never done a long dungeon before, you guys. This is exciting and terrifying. Um, it's not... We have to explore 90% of the rooms. Okay. Sick. That is some quality. Well, I think I gave, um, him? Yeah, I gave him some nice scouting shit. And he already has... He already has some scouting stuff, I think. Right? I don't know. He's great. I'm excited. I bet I can't collect. Oh, wow. <clears throat> My first heirloom. How exciting. A trap! <clears throat> Excuse me. Psycho, I was going to bring you on this journey, but then I couldn't. It's either like you or a poison person. Because you always have to be in this third position, which kind of sucks. But it's fine. I'm living with it. Have a blight, cunt! It's not the length that matters, but how you handle the stress. Oof, that's what she said? He said? Suck my dick! Hand jobs for weed? No, I never gave a hand job for weed. I was the I was probably worse than that. When I was in college, I was a total tease. A guy would be like, yo, you want to come back to my room? And I'd be like, eh. and he'd be like, we can just smoke some weed or some watch a movie. And I'd be like, okay, smoke all of his weed and leave. I was an ass. Yeah, let's knock back this hoe. Hell yeah. I didn't sleep around at all. I've never had a one night stand. I've never been slutty, but I definitely, 
definitely, uh, you know, you're a horrible person. Not anymore. I just didn't know how to get my own weed in college. I was dumb. Suck my dick. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Dodge. Ah, yes. Getting someone hopes like that? I mean, come on. I said nothing about sex. I was offered weed in movies. And I stayed for the movie. If he wanted to fuck, he should have been up front and been like, you want to go back to my place and fuck? And I would have been like, no. I'm just saying, I will use your miscommunication to my advantage. Learn how to speak. Heal, cunt. There was no Netflix and chill, no. <laughs> I don't do that anymore. I was a shitty child. I'm a I'm an okay adult. Mmm, kill him. Woo! Onslaught. Okay, I like him. Destroy He's pretty cool. Barbaric Yop? The fuck? Okay. Um, I want to. Yes, I would like to murder her, please. Confidence Excellent. Surges as the enemy crumbles. Hi, KVP. How are you? Good morning. Are you excited for Gone today? I'm like excited and sad for reasons unknown. Stunned. I'm an okay adult. Like, we all were me. I mean, I didn't think I was being mean. If someone offered me weed in movies, I did not think I needed to sleep with them to seal the deal. I would smoke the weed and watch the movie and leave promptly. <laughs> But I never, I wasn't, I'm not a, I, I never skanked out. I was pretty low confidence. Give them no Same, quarter. right? Darkest Dungeon, dude, have you ever played this? It's pretty darn addicting. It's really fun. Can do, want to come over and get high as fuck at my place, CK? I'll make dinner, no sexing. I'm gonna hear Rob Zeke of even one sexy time. Dude, that'd be dope. See, communication. Die. As the oh man, falls, you'd love it. It's very dark. Blossoms. Fuck. Um, fuck my dick. Ah! I can't collect anything because I brought so many supplies for this long ass dungeon. I'm just gonna buff them all real quick. Empty one spot. And then we'll take that. Mmm, it sucks leaving food, but what do you do? I lost my virginity at 19 with my boyfriend at the time, who is still my current boyfriend. Dude, I lost my virginity at 18 to a long-term boyfriend. I was the same. I never slept around. I was, I, which I don't slut shame though. I just had low self-confidence. I thought no one liked me and that boys would think I was ugly. Cause one boy, when I was like a sophomore in high school, told the whole school I had funny looking boobs. And it ruined me. No one believed him, mind you, but it ruined me in my head. Yeah. And it was because he couldn't get it up. That was the part he didn't share. He was an ass. Most teenage boys are asses, though. No offense to the boys out there in chat, but most teenage men are fucking assholes. And then you decided to say fuck y'all and start an OnlyFans? Yeah. For real. I mean, I didn't even think fuck y'all. I was just like, this seems fun. Light. That was really the what it was. Of safety. <coughs> mm. No, I knew it was gonna happen. I lost it at 21 to some girl. I don't sleep around. I'm super picky on the woman I decide to sleep with. I'm the same. I've always been very picky. I don't. I've, I'm just not comfortable with it. Like I don't want strangers to touch me, let alone have sex with me or touch my genitals or kiss me. Like, you don't fucking know where that mouth has been. Have you ever thought about how dirty human mouths are and people just like make out in bars? <laughs> they might have fucking thrush. You don't know. <laughs> I can't. That might be my medical background though, making me very paranoid. I just don't. I No shame to people who do though. More power to you. Slut it up. Yeah, I mean, teenagers are just fucking unstable creatures, exactly.
my first what, boyfriend cheated on me. Uh, the boyfriend I lost my virginity to cheated on me. Yeah, he cheated on me too. With a girl 